Hi there. Welcome to the video. We're going to be working through some derivatives uh, with the natural log. Now, if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hi, my name is Dr. Marissa May, and I'm on a mission to provide resources and tools that help students feel confident in their math class. And this video is just one of those. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That way you get a notification every time a new video is posted. Also, in the comments here, actually in the description, I'm going to put my social media handles. If you want to connect that way, you're welcome to check out some of the other resources that I have. And, um, and let me know if there's a resource that you might need and that could help you. Let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. We're asking to find the derivative of this function that has a natural log in it. Now, one thing we know about natural logs is they do have some properties that we can use to actually simplify. And I think it's probably in our best interest to go ahead and simplify this function before we take the derivative. For instance, I want to go ahead and rewrite this square root as a one-half power. Now, if you're remembering back to your natural log uh, properties, you'll remember that those uh, exponents become coefficients. So instead of having a one half power, which by the way would be not fun really to take the derivative of, we're gonna make it much simpler by pulling that one half in front. Then we see that inside of the logarithm, we have a division. So I'm going to rewrite that as a subtraction. And again, what we're doing is we're simplifying so that when we have to do the calculus part, when we have to take the derivative, we're making it as simple as possible. And so by splitting these up, we're actually avoiding the quotient rule. Notice that I put it in parentheses with the one half because this one half is going to have to be distributed to both of them. And I think that's probably going to be my final step is I'm going to distribute it to both of them. And then just be careful at this point, we are going to take the derivative. We have not done any calculus yet. We have only simplified logarithms and now we're ready to take the derivative. Let's do that. So I've got a one half times, and then the derivative of ln of x plus 1 would be 1 over x plus 1. Then I've got minus 1 half times the derivative of the ln of x minus 1, which is 1 over x minus 1. Now, we probably are going to make a common denominator here, so let's do that. On the first fraction, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the x minus 1. Then on the second fraction, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the x plus 1. And so look at what my numerator looks like. It becomes x minus 1 minus here, and then I have to distribute that to the x plus 1. Look at what my denominator becomes. 2 times x plus 1, x minus 1. So let's simplify even further. We'll distribute the minus here. That gives me x minus 1 minus x minus 1 over 2 times. I'm going to go ahead and multiply these two parentheses together. That'll give me x squared minus 1. And so y prime equals negative 2 over 2 times x squared minus 1 or negative 1 over x squared minus 1. So that's how we take the derivative. We actually did a lot of work to make the, taking the derivative a little bit easier. And I want you to see that the bulk of our work is really to simplify, making common denominators with rational expressions, simplifying natural logarithms. So I hope this helps. If you have questions or you'd like to see other resources, be sure and leave a comment below. Bye for now.